How to handle pressure in business. First of all, business is a long game. It's not a sprint. So often, especially right now at this time of me filming, um, we're in the coronavirus um, lockdowns and everything else. And just depending on what industry you're in and what's happening um, in the world right now, you may be out of work or your business may be struggling. Um, there's a whole stack of things that can be going on right now, not only financially, but obviously just moving forward and looking at what, what is um, what is going to happen either within the next couple of months, years, and so on and so forth. So I wanna give you five tips on, on things that have really helped me um, handle the pressure in my business. And the first one is establish what's most important. Effectively, sometimes we can get caught up in just doing for the sake of doing, because sometimes action feels like momentum. But the thing is, it's, a, it's, it's sometimes one of the biggest distractions. What I think is really important is establishing what is most important and whether that is right now where revenue isn't available and or your industry isn't you know, in a position where you can take on clients, maybe the best thing to do is understand how do I set myself up so that I can create clients or so that I can nurture people in the future. Um, maybe if you do have an opportunity, maybe you need to just rejig um, your offers or what it is that you're doing. And maybe that's just focusing in on um, revenue producing tasks and things like that. My second tip is you need to reframe what's happening. So obviously we're in a pandemic and um, times are tough. People can see this as a disastrous time or you can see it as an opportunity. Reframe and understand, okay, where do I wanna go? And where do I want to be? Or what do I wanna make of this situation? And what are the opportunities within this situation? The third thing, give yourself sufficient time. And I am a culprit for this um, in just undervaluing um, the time it takes to do anything. Um, yeah, I'll do that in the next five minutes. Or yeah, I'll get that done today or, or whatever the case is. And before I know it, I've got 15 different tasks that I'm meant to do in a, in a single day. Um, and it can often build up pressure, especially if you're you know, making promises to anyone and everyone. So one of the things that has really served me is spending a bit of time, say on a Sunday night or on a day where I can reflect and look at my week and actually set up different aspects. So for example, um, I don't actually take any client meetings before 12 p.m. And that allows me to get anything, that one thing that I need to get done for that day, allows me to get that done with grace, flow, ease. I can come in with my fresh morning energy. And then once that thing has been completed, I'm then um, much better when I'm on the phone. I'm much better when I'm talking to people. And I've got that momentum because I've given myself the opportunity to get that one thing done first, then burn throughout the day. Fourth tip, is it worth hiring someone? Um, the moment that I started to relinquish control over everything, hiring people like videographers, um, video editors and all this other stuff so that we can not only have a really effective business, but it's not just all on me. Oh my God, did I feel relieved? Do I feel like I can now accomplish so much more? The business can scale and all those other things. So just depending on what it is that you need done, is it worth hiring someone to take some leverage away or take some of the tasks that you have to do away so that you can have a fresh mind on things that you do need to do? So my fifth one, and this is an absolute favorite, is take time to rediscover what you love doing. So often we get caught up in business and, and doing and making money and all this other stuff and we forget to just go and have fun. And I think it's really important to go for a surf, go for a hike or go and just literally go and watch Netflix. Sometimes you just need to stop and just spend some time on you. I hope that helps. Go get it.